This session is going to be about copying, cutting, and pasting. I'm going to show examples of why you might want to copy something from one place to another in your computer or move something from one place to another in your computer. I'm going to show uh, some samples of things that you can copy and paste or move. And then I'm going to show you several different ways to do that. This is all going to be quite basic. I'll give you an example of something that I do rather often. Each week I write a stock letter. And each week I compose the weekly stock letter, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, give it a number, I write something uh, absolutely brilliant. And then each week I say to myself, well, I needed to give them the boilerplate for this uh, stock letter after the brilliant stuff that I've just written and tell them what they're looking at. So I wrote something quite a while back, which I then open. by going to a file that I keep in a particular place in my computer called stock letter intro and I open that file and then I hold down the control key which I am now doing I type A which highlights the entire file I then hold down the control key and type C which puts that entire thing on the clipboard. And then I put the cursor in my brilliant weekly stock letter and hold down the control key and type V, which puts the rest of this introduction to what the letter is and description of exactly what it is and what are each columns at the end of my stock letter. That's an example of a way that I use copy and paste. So that's one example of uh, why you might want to use cut and paste. It saves time when you often send or print the same thing and you can put that in a in a that same thing in a file and copy it whenever you need it. The next example which is probably used most often is to fix mistakes that you've made when you're making a new document. Supposing I am uh, typing a sentence and I type uh, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy no over the dog lazy and then I realize, oops, I don't really mean that. I really mean the lazy dog. Well, I can highlight the space before lazy and all, oops, no, I need to start here. I can t highlight lazy and the space before it. And now I can hold down, well, let's do it with the edit drop down menu this time. I can now click on edit and I can look for the rest of it, get the whole edit menu, and I can click cut, which removes what I just had highlighted. And then if I put the cursor here, because I included the space before the word, and click paste, I now have the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The last why of, of why you might want to use copy, cut, and paste is uh, something that 
we probably should all spend more time doing, and that is organizing our computers. Uh, I used an example of this, uh, or I will use as an example something that I did about an hour ago. I, um, a couple of weeks ago, I received a, an email from my daughter-in-law that had some pictures attached. And this morning, I was sending an email to a friend who was going to Kauai, where my son and daughter-in-law live. And he had known my son a long, long time ago, and I wanted to send him a picture of this uh, 55-year-old the guy with gray hair that's my kid, because I didn't think he'd recognize him, because the last time he saw him, he was 19. So I went looking for the photograph. Well, let me show you what happened. I get a lot of emails with attachments, and when I download attachments, I put them in one particular folder, in my documents, called, uh, it's under documents often used, and it's called AOL Downloads, and it is big. I've broken it up by year. And in the 2006 download, every time I get a set of pictures, they usually come in, if they're not just an individual picture, they end up in, when they're unzipped, they end up in a folder with the name of uh, whatever the zip file was that they arrived in. Well, it took me quite a while to find the one I was looking for. When I did, uh, there were the pictures I was looking for. And I said to myself, hey, I, I want to save these. I, I shouldn't have just left them in my download file. I want to save them in my pictures, the place where I keep all my pictures in my computer. So I decided to click this folder, the whole folder, and I typed Control-C. And then I went to where my pictures are stored, which is in My Pictures, Photos and Graphics, Photos. And then I decided that I wanted to save it in a folder within my photo photos that I call Family. So I highlighted this, and I typed Control-V. Control plus V, which brought that other folder over here, the one that was named uh, RSCN0868. And then I, after I got that over here, I changed the name of it, RSCNO, whatever I just said, within the family folder. I now have, I changed that folder to Rick and Deb, and there are the three pictures that I was looking for. So I used copy and paste to make a copy of those three files in the in a folder, which eventually ended up being called Rick and Deb, in my family folder within my pictures. The pictures are still in the place where I originally downloaded them. They are still here under AOL downloads, 2006 downloads, uh, and in this folder RSCN0868. Yeah, they are there. I chose to copy them to my family folder in my pictures folder. I could have chosen to move them. If I had, I, I would have clicked uh, Edit, Cut, and then Edit, Paste, or used Control-X and then Control-V. I decided that uh, I still wanted them where they had originally been downloaded to.
and not to move them. So now you have seen examples of why you might want to copy and paste or cut and paste things that are in one part of your computer or on one part of a window to another part of your computer or to another part of your window. The next subject is what can you copy and paste? Well, I think we've already seen most of that. You can copy and paste files from one place to another or move files from one place to another in your computer. That means you can move individual files or you can move as I just did with those three photographs you can move a folder with all the files in it or you can copy a folder with all the files in it to another place and you get that same folder with all those files in it in the new place. You can copy text. You can I can take this document right here. I can uh, highlight it. I can then uh, Edit, cut, whoops, it's gone. Now I can, if that was a mistake, if I didn't want to uh, cut and paste, if I wanted to copy and paste, I can go back to edit and I can do undo cut. Ah, and there it is again. Now I can go and edit, copy, and now I could put this uh, cursor down here and click edit and paste and I have the word text right there. Now if I I really don't want that in this document so I can go back and edit undo the paste and it's gone and I'm back where I was. You can move whole sections of documents or copy whole sections of documents. It just depends on what you highlight before you go to the edit, copy, or edit, cut. And you already know that there are two easy ways to copy and paste or cut and paste either use the file and click on after, after you've highlighted. You have, to, you have to highlight something or when you go to edit these things will be grayed out. You can use the you can click right here to copy or you can as it shows you right next to here you can hold the control key down and type C and that will execute the same thing as clicking here for copy. So that's two ways. The third way is when you highlight something you can then right click on it. I am right clicking on my mouse and you get a menu that includes copy and if I click here and then put my cursor down here and right click where my cursor is and click paste. I'll get what was highlighted down here. And then I can go back to undo the paste and I'm back where I was. So as always there are several ways to skin a particular cat in your computer. This cat we're trying to skin is copy, cut, and paste. You have seen why you might want to do that. You've seen what you can copy, cut, and paste. And you've seen how. I suggest you go home and try it.